Don't tell anybody how much you make. Or should you? Yeah, you should. Let's talk about it. I Welcome to Let's Get Wealthy Together. My name is Deanna. And today we are discussing, talking about how much money you make in a nine to five. In a, or a business, this can apply to a business too, mainly in a nine to five. And this came about because um, I was recently offered a position uh, that I'll likely take. And um, some other friends, you know, a circle of us are kind of just talking about changing jobs and different things that we want to do in addition to the businesses that we have. So I'm reminded of a conversation I had with a friend. We were out somewhere and she saw someone roll up in a new Audi and another person had a Mercedes. And she was like, how are these people affording these cars? What kind of jobs do they have? And I was like, girl. <laughs> there's money to be made like what are we talking about so we started getting into the conversation and it comes out that she is making significantly lower than people other people in her circle and another thing another um conversation came up with another friend where she was saying how you know we have similar educations matter of fact she has more she has two master's degrees i have one and she was saying how she would notice certain things in her department and how people were just carrying themselves and how much how much they just looked like they had a whole lot more money than she did and after a little research she found out they did and they were making significantly more money than she was and why is that because she never asked her co-workers she you know just assumed that she was making what she was supposed to be paid and i think this whole thing comes from companies they don't, some don't, I'm not going to say everybody, but some do not want us all to know how much they're paying simply because they want, some companies want to get away with paying the least amount of money possible. And that is not fair to us. So it brings us back to this whole great resignation to where so many people have been leaving jobs, realizing, hey, I could be doing this for a whole lot more money somewhere else or I could be doing remote work where a company out of state will pay me a whole lot more. So nine times out of 10, we know someone that does what we do for a living. You know, I'm a marketing person. I have a marketing degree, you know, uh, and so does a lot of my circle. I still keep in contact with quite a bit of my old classmates and I know for a good part how much they're being paid in, you know, in this area and other areas. And it gives me an idea of how much I should be making. Now, it shouldn't necessarily be the same, but at the same time, it shouldn't be a huge difference between what I'm paid um, and what they're paid. But we know that there's a gap between genders. We know that there's a salary gap between races. Um, there's a gap between race and gender. You know, black woman is making significantly lower than a white man. Um, I think the statistic is, uh, black, well, a woman makes about 79 cents to a dollar, to the dollar of what a man makes. So, you know, there's different disparities, but what I want to reiterate today is that let's start talking about how much we make within our circles, um, maybe even a close friend at work. Now, you have to be very careful when you discuss these types of things at work because a lot of companies frown upon it, right? But I find myself, have found myself in different situations at work where I didn't even have to ask. It was just told to me, you know, um, when you have like, work husbands or um work friends they'll sometimes mention it i remember i had a real good girlfriend at work one time and she and i had started around the same time we had the same education the only difference between us is she was white i was black but we were walking and she's like girl i'm only making blah 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 you know and i was like shoot me too you know <laughs> <laughs> we were making the same amount and it came out that another girl that came in around the same time that we did was making the same amount too so in that instance i really couldn't 
really complain but there was a guy that started right after us and he was making like twenty thousand more than we were and so wait a minute how come he's making 20k more so this this is information that we can use in order to take to management not necessarily say not necessarily to say hey i know that such and such is making 20k more than i am but to say hey i want to make 20k and these are the reasons why now make sure you have your reasons why and make sure that they all make sense you know your education your experience things that you have done to help further the actual company in of itself there's a number of different um legs that we can stand on in order to ask for more income and the thing is and i wish someone told me this when i was in my 20s do not let a company put you in poverty do not let a company that you have chosen to work for make you struggle you know there there was many times well there was a time that i worked for a company and i knew same company i was talking to, to my good girlfriend about I knew that I was being underpaid for my work, yet I stayed. I stayed for a long time and it was only until I was able to just break free and just move that I went to a place where I was able to get way more money, a better title, and then though that that the more money and the better title is what led me into being who kind of financially free when it came down to a nine to five like i can at least reach a point to where um it could pay the bills and then some you know so it's i think that we need to start talking about what we make as a community now i'm not saying go out and blast it to the world you know i've been in situations where people have just been blurred and got yeah i make such 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 i don't know how y'all live here and only make this is that you know when the person that's yelling and down is living in the whole other state <laughs> you have to be comparable it has to be comparables and it really just reminds me of real estate too like my neighbor just had an appraisal and i saw the appraiser over there and she came up here yeah i just got an appraisal i'm going to share with you how much i appraise for why because she wants to make sure that when if i ever decide to sell not pretend i'm not even entertaining the idea of selling and she isn't either actually she's going to refinance but it's good to know how much we're working with, you know, just so, you know, hey, my property is almost identical to yours. It's gonna, it just came in. She just called me yesterday and appraised for this amount. And we both were like, wow, that's great. We didn't even know we had that much equity in our properties at this point. But my point is, let's start sharing the information that we have that can help someone else, okay? All right, please be sure to like and subscribe um, this video and let me know, have you had some conversations with some of your coworkers or good friends about some of the, about the income that you're making and did it make a difference? Cause it certainly made a difference for me. All right, see you soon.